love that it's translucent, so you can see its intestines right there. It's, uh... The ascending intestine and descending intestine. Whoever wrote that in, thank you. I'm using that a lot. I wish I could look that look that mesmerizing when I was swimming instead of just looking like I'm drowning. Okay. I can go so you're sure that's not the sea creature you'd want to be? <laughs> Maybe. I'm hoping we see some pelagitheria out here. It's a another it's a fully um, swimming sea cucumber and it spends its entire life up in the water column. And they, I think they're just beautiful. Oh, and, uh, you were describing it the other day. Back on yeah. Course comes down to eat, releases. So, so that the, that was one we saw the other day that was in the water is the one that goes up and down. The Plagiothuria just catches marine snow. Oh. It doesn't okay. actually ever land. See the see the way the um, this rock affects the shape of the bed the forms. Currents. Yeah, the bed Making forms. These really pretty geometric patterns in the seafloor. We got what looks like probably another group of hydroids maybe there on the bottom. A little Chrysogorgia on the side, and uh, some kind of little sponge there. Do we have the? Uh, are you guys using the stills camera at all? I don't think we are on this watch. I'm not entirely sure how to use it, actually. I need to get Layla to teach me. I was wrong, that's not hydrate. That's a dead, that's a, that yellow stuff is dead sponge. Some of these uh, rocks out here, we do pirouette and take a bunch of stills. You can do uh, photogrammetry. Yep, absolutely. We can pull it out of the um, out of the video too. Yeah. The stills are better. I wholeheartedly agree. But well, maybe depends on how fast we rotate. And That's true. But the the higher image resolution oh. really makes it much easier um, for, the, for the computer to get into it. enough to make it worth it, I guess. When I run, when I try and run the 3D reconstructions off ROV video, the shifting shadows really wreak havoc. Like if I do it in shallow yeah. water, it works <laughs> great. And, oh yeah. And I, then I run it off ROV video and it's much, much more challenging. So what we're talking about is a, a, a procedure called structure for motion video, which you can also do with still imaging, but the principle is the same where you can take a bunch of images from different perspectives of the same object um, and then stitch it all together and build a three-dimensional reconstruction based on just the two-dimensional images. Ooh, that's a dandelion. Um, it is. Yep. Wow. Let's look right there. It's actually in a spot we can look at it. Yeah, this yeah. might be a good pr beauty shot potential as well. Nice and easy. So this is a dandelion siphonophore. Um, these are actually one of my favorite deep sea creatures to look at. They're super pretty. They have these clear tentacles that kind of anchor it in place. Um, this is a close relative of your Portuguese man of war kind of um, siphonophores. So it's a, a technically a colonial orga it's organism, but but does have some specialization in each of the individual units. And you can see very light, the kind of clear tentacly things holding it on to all its other ro all the rocks, and it kind Max of just zoom. sits here and filter feeds. Really, Max zoom. What an interesting critter. Um, I might be able to get I always stir it up every time I see one of these. So would you say this is your is favorite deep sea animal? <laughs> Today if you it could can choose be. one. Today it can be. I change every dive. <laughs> 
There's my camera here. Chris, did you say what's your favorite deep sea? If you could be a deep sea critter, what would it be? Um, I don't know, I might want to be one of the, the sharks. They live for a really long time. Ooh. I think that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Daryl, what about you? You could be any deep sea critter, what would it be? Humpback would be pretty fun. I don't know if whales count as deep sea creatures. Two of you went with whales. I went with sperm whales because they're deep sea. They at least <laughs> dive into the deep sea, but you they want can't me to go with last over for very whale? long. Again, they still have to oh, go to the surface right at least there. every couple hours. You're going to winch oh, in real okay. easy. <sighs> well, in that case, I would be a some type of octopus. Okay, Daryl, zoom in there. What would you call those Back sticking soon. out? Right. Tentacles? Sure. Man, that's a gorgeous shot. This one's really healthy and full. A lot of times these look kind of beat up, too. But this one looks in great shape. Let's stop moving the camera now. It looks like a giant palm I can, palm. Uh, slowly winch up there. Mm -hmm. Science is happy when video is happy. Roger. We're good. Uh, you want to slowly zoom out? Try and keep focus while you do it. Then we'll get out of here. Every time I try to get a shot of one of these, they're always kind of in somewhere, and I get all excited and completely <laughs> blow the biz out or blow them away. They're really fragile, and they just the thrust from the ROV will uh, dislodge them. It's the first time I've ever got a successful shot of one. Oh, well, congratulations. Happy we could be there for your first. Yeah. <laughs> Happy in there, trying not to blow them out on the way out. Okay, Dale, you can go wide now. You can uh, come up a few more meters there if you want. So for those at home, that was a siphonophore. It is belonging to the Cnidarian family. So like a jellyfish, but not an actual true jellyfish. Uh, most people know the Portuguese man of war, which is a relative in the same group. And yes, they can sting. They all have nematophores, nematocysts mm -hmm. that allow them to sting. I want to follow the rocks, but that's the wrong way. Another one of those little sea pens we were looking at earlier. going to be our uh, heading there to head out 315, I think. Is that what we're doing, Lynette? Uh, we were going 315, were we? 310, right here.
So Corley, I know you are a, uh, more of a hard rock geologist, but what can you tell us about sand? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it's sandy in this area. Um, I think someone asked a question before, um, asking if it was similar to sand we see on beaches um, above the water. Um, but I think a lot of this probably also is that marine snow that we like to talk about so much, that vague term. Um, Quick zoom there and down. Couple ophiroids hanging out here. Maybe a cup coral there on the left. Yep, little cup coral, or at least the skeleton of what used to be one. Another feather star comatulate crinoid there. Oh yeah, that, that. somebody's home in that cup coral. I think this is the first cup coral that I I think we saw one right at the we beginning of the watch. Them. Okay. I couldn't so remember if that was yesterday's dive or today's dive. <laughs> they run together quickly yeah. today. Oh, and a couple of tube anemones, too. It's amazing how when you zoom in, you always yeah. find more life, basically. Zoom in on the cup car there. It's amazing how when you zoom in, you can really see the botryoidal texture of the rock. Copy down. You had to say it at least once this watch. <laughs> no control over Iris on Atlanta. We just went black on Atlanta for like yeah, a couple seconds. Yeah, can you zoom in on the cup coral? What's that? Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Push right in. Yep. Max zoom. Really? Yep. Light years oh, away. I see those tube anemones. Okay, it can go away. Right, you doing that with the uh, up there all playing with the arrows. Can you go light on her, please? And now uh, you can come up uh, five, ten meters or so when I come under you. So when I go scuba diving, one of my favorite things to and do you is can just... You can run uh, Atlanta and Auto Iris. Just don't tell Dave. <laughs> <laughs> just kind of sit on the bottom and just watch the little bitty creatures that most people miss. Just kind of either swim by or, or do their thing. Yeah, absolutely. It's a lot of fun to just pick a coral head and spend an entire dive studying a single coral head. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to lie. It is. I love doing muck diving when you're only in um, about... I think you'll want to come around the other way. you want to come around clockwise. And like 15 feet or less of water, and you can just sit there, and because you're so shallow, you can use your air for forever. So I remember just staring at a barnacle for like 15 minutes, just watching him as wave, wave around his little, I don't know, tentacles? Siri. So we're passing through 1,925 meters with a goal of getting to just about 1,600 meters by the end of the next watch. We're going to have to pull off. So about 300 more meters to go. Yep, we've covered just shy of 300 meters ourselves from when we came on watch. So some form of chrysogorgian, probably metallic orgia. 
You want a closer look? Or? No. I think we're good. I'm pretty sure that's Metallogorgia. Same one we've been seeing <laughs> all morning. All right. Back row is going to start watch changing. All right. Not breakfast is starting to call my name. Yeah. Yeah. Bacon. Breakfast pizza. What's Those on the omelets? breakfast pizza? What what? What's on the breakfast pizza? <laughs> uh, nothing that really should be on a pizza. <laughs> Mayonnaise, ketchup, pita bread, corn. Mm. But weirdly enough, it all just melted together and it was delicious. I'm one of those crazy people who hates mayonnaise. Although I feel like I'm finding more people who also hate mayonnaise. As much as I me. feel like I know a lot of guys, men who dislike mayonnaise. I don't know. It's not, it's not for me. I love it. An aioli? An aioli I aioli like. I love. But you like, like it too, or no? I do. Okay. But I feel like it's because it's not yeah, real up mayonnaise. Just a bit there, and you get that tether out of your face. Okay, I'll go with it. It's not a true emulsification. It's not like it doesn't have all the add the add the things they add into mayonnaise, like oh. the vinegars and stuff like that. Yeah. So, what's your favorite condiment then? Uh, love. Ketchup, love ranch, love blue cheese. I am not that big of a fan of ketchup. For I fries, can. I'll only eat it on fries, but for for other stuff, it's meh. Yeah, I'm I know with people you. People like, like mm. mix it in with their pasta and stuff. That's I, not. I've never understood that. That's not for me. No, that sounds like a college kid thing. Like, we can't afford true pizza sauce, so let's use some ketchup. Or is that um, honey boo-boo? Have you? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Night, see you down there. Good morning, Adam. Good morning, how are you? Good. How are you I feel like any time Honey Boo Boo has done something on her TV show, we probably shouldn't mimic it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> test, test. I can hear me. Yay. I can hear you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. He's really light. Seems out. like it needs some rocks. Oh, <laughs> yes. So from the way it sounds, we don't have too many places to put them, though. No, probably yeah, not. One spot. One spot. So this one doesn't get opened. Yeah, I don't know. I've yeah. lost a pot on what's where. Yeah, it looks like we just got the Omega Omega box. No, it does sound like a Marvel kind of thing. <laughs> Oh tank. no, they've stolen the Omega box. <laughs> you can put up a couple rocks in there. Put a couple rocks in there? Oh, I don't know. I don't like to mix rocks, but if they're real different, maybe. I feel like we've always been able to figure it out. Come up a bit. Oh. Uh, sea star. It's raining sea stars. 
Sure. Keep coming up, Brent. Oh, what's that? I don't know. Videos in the midst of having a discussion about a camera. Yeah. I guess. Uh, we'll, we'll never know. We'll never know. I can get close. Sometimes you need to, some mysteries. Okay. Ship moves is coming to an end here, so keep moseying along until uh, my salvation comes. like a little Chris Agorja over there. In the old distance ID. Video change. Roger. That was a cool thing you saw earlier, the little sunflowery looking thing. Oh yeah, the dandelion. Dandelion, yeah. That was cool. Yeah, cool. it's the first time I was able to get some decent video of one without blowing it. Blowing yeah, it looked it like out. it was like stuck on <laughs> in a little, uh, I don't know, alleyway or something. It was cool. Yeah, they have real thin little spider webs to hold them in. Uh, they're usually in a, like, kind of back in the rocks, right? So when you get up there and just a little bit of thruster wash. And they just start. And they take off. Yeah. Well, bust all their little spider webs and away they go. That one was in a sweet spot. We're actually able to. Uh, Nemony? Okay, front row, signing off. Thank you. <laughs> well, I just reached over and one of your hairs got in my watch. I don't know how that happened. Why they what? Awesome. Our 8 to 12 watch signing in. Welcome, everybody. 
thanks for tuning in with us. Dan left his phone. What kind? <laughs> what kind? <laughs> Oops. All right, everyone, how's everybody feeling this beautiful Sunday morning? Awake. Awake. <laughs> I'm here. Ready to close out this dive. Summit the mountain. They brought in a you know, special team to reach the top of this thing. Special team. <laughs> special team. <laughs> Eight to 12. Eight Let's 12. go. OK, it's 12. Are we ready to move? Yes. Great. Bridge, now. Good morning, let's do five zero meters, bearing three one zero at zero point two knots, please. Ooh, nice shot of Hercules. Thank you. Yeah, Flavio said that he dreamt of five zero meters two nine zero. <laughs> <laughs> So we got a slight difference this morning. Oh, you're on mute, Robert. Dave, can you zoom in on the purple thing there? Got a holotherian. Yeah. Regular old holotherian. No. <laughs> just a holotherian. No, man. It's not just any old holotherian. H12 Holotherian. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing here? Oh. oh. All right. Wow. So, percentage? You got to Yeah, let's take a percentage. Sometimes they look a lot like crinoids. I don't know why that motor's mm -hmm. still working. Okay. What's that little purple thing? Can zoom in on that, Dave? Is that just a wee one? Just a what? 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 Heading off to school. <laughs> Holothurian? Yeah. Just oh, a wee one. You're hanging around me too, mm -hmm. I'm Robert. <laughs> <laughs> I like it when they he's swim. still 10 centimeters, so he's not that wee. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right. We gotta get going here. Or we're already going. We're going slowly.
thing. So science, do we have uh, collection goals on our way to the top here? Yeah, actually we're looking for a white paragorgia um, with an associate if we can find it. We have limited <coughs> spots to stow samples at this point. Has the white paragorgia been seen by other watches yet? Um, Coralie said they had seen one paragorgia, whether it was white or not is unclear. It's a very specific ask, but um, if, we, if we encounter one, we'll take it. Okay. Other than that, just uh, continuing to document what we see. Um, are you taking any rock samples? Oh yeah, we'll take one. Uh, you know, towards the end, we're gonna kind of okay. get up to the the top. But uh, if if there's a spot to stow it, and so I am curious. How do you get to choose what's a sample? Is it based on? Um, not a lot of sampling of that organism or how do you choose an organism to sample like i think it's in, in part if there yeah if there's not a lot of it mm. or not one from this region or boy we can't really identify that right let's take a sample to get a closer look okay. yeah it's also based on areas of interest right um, right oh what's this can we zoom please oh. Um, areas of interest, uh, of course, if we see anything new, that's a metallogorgia, I think. Um, yeah, things that we would need to bring back to identify, mm -hmm. like if we have to look at the sclerites or polyps, um, and then things that people have requested. So some people study um, certain organisms, yeah. and so they'll ask us to collect some for them, and we'll bring them back for them. Awesome. Um, can we look at the coral behind the Metallogorgia, please? Okay, um, it's hard to tell from right here, especially because I haven't seen much here. I think that could no, be Paragorgia. I, I can't get down too close. To no, that's okay. Person. That's all right. I'm just trying to ID from I'm here. Um, I'm going to guess Paragorgia. Zoom in, Dave. But not sampleable because it's pink. Ah, uh, yeah, we're looking for a white one. Um, let's look at those polyps. Oh, actually, is this Paragorgia or is it Swiftia? It's kind of like Swiftia. kind of looks like Swiftia. Uh, it's hard to say with it moving. Um, is there a way to... This? No, that's okay. I'm just trying to... There's oh, a cup, cup coral, coral, too. Dead cup coral. Um. <coughs> yeah, all right. Thank you. Um. Oh, cool. <laughs> that doesn't do me much good. <laughs> um, that's all right. Good use of telestrator, but... Thank you to everybody tuning in. If you have any questions or see something cool, send them in. I feel like Swiftia is usually darker skeleton, lighter polyps, but that's not like a, a rule. Do you think that skeleton was, the polyps were dying off or why, why that kind of tan color? Um, 
I don't know. I've I haven't seen um, Paragorgia in other colors other than that like bubblegum pink, but I know that they exist. Um, so it was hard. I couldn't Wait, see. Wait, I'm, um, I'm starting the to. Very I'm well. starting to have a feeling. Probably pink Paragorgia <laughs> with associated zoanthid. Sometimes easily confused with Hemicorallium, <laughs> not Swiftia. Swiftia would have a woody gorgonin axis. Oh, oh I, that's I, a very. I, I was channeling yeah. someone. Uh, I think that was my inner Steve Oscovich <laughs> coming out. Is Steve watching right now? Yep. Damn, hello, Steve. <laughs> Science thing. Steve has entered the chat with the zoanthid. Nice. I was going to say, Adam, that's a lot of information for a rapper. <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah. especially at, at uh, you know, just after I woke up. <laughs> yeah. A woody Gorgonian axis. Nice. Steve, can you elaborate yeah. on that in the chat? Steve should just come up to the van. <laughs> <laughs> Steve was out for our last shakedown cruise. So. Oh, what's this? Uh, Carcigorgia? Steve is actually like my it. ghost writer. <laughs> Everything you hear is just him. <laughs> it looks like maybe an asteroid on the rock next to it, too. Yeah, I think this is Chrysogorgia de Chrysogorgia. We're finishing that ship move, but I'll let you guys get ahead. Um, could you go to the left to look at the asteroid, please? How oh, far there's a left? squat lobster. Uh, it's like the next rock over. Yep. Oh, right there. there. The or the bottom left. Starfish. Or the starfish. Uh, bottom starfish. We also have an umbelula Ooh. and something yellow under a rock. Sea star. Sea star. <laughs> sea star. Zoom in. Yep. What are you up to? <laughs> <laughs> I'm to oh no. <laughs> you <laughs> got dry. close. Oops. Oh shit. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> Drop the telestrator <laughs> novel. No more pokes. Okay, that should be good for ID. Can... Oh. Steve, you're Thank giving you. me too much material here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> As no, we, this is perfect for me. I can't see the chat over here. Oh, it's so. okay. I'll tell you what it says. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, Swiftia. Plexorids like Swiftia and other paramaricides have an axis wow. that's composed of gorgonin. Oh, so Where's gorgonin your mic, Bob? is I can, a stuff. I can barely hear you. Oh. Plus bits of calcium carbonate. Classically called you a horny bring your axis. Mic closer to your face. In the taxonomy, there you are. There seems more yeah, fibrous as woody thing. or woody. I get you. I I do. Robert um, prescribe to the horny axis the myself. Um, yeah, I'm having okay. the fibrous and woody works. I'm All right, you gotta bail out. Yeah, you got it. There it is. Okay, right. uh, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's none of my business. Okay, I gotta go down under the table to get the thing I dropped. Okay. Stand by. Someone from the chat, didn't Adam lose his Telestrator privileges yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the day before, too. The day before. Adam, they're missing some really cool rocks. It's <laughs> a lot of Adam, beautiful it's rocks. it's a new rock. Never just the rock. Oh, and okay. can we zoom on this purple thing, yeah. please? You missed it. We saw a really awesome rock. <laughs> Scientists don't know what it is. We've never seen it before. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. What is this? It's so purple. Oh, uh, what? There's a, <laughs> a brittle star that's holding on to two corals. One of them's a Chrysogorgian. Cool. The other is, can we rotate around? Is that possible? I'm yeah, sorry. I'm yeah, we're kind okay. of okay. All right. Yeah. I, I need to get up. Yep. We have to get ahead. Do what you got to do. The vessel's still moving there, is it? Uh, no, we're oh. stopped. Oh. Victor Gorgia. Let's 
still got residual motion. Right. Okay. So ID on the the star is benthopechnid, and then those two were Victor Gorgia and a Chrysogorgid. That was Victor Gorgia. Interesting. Um, yep. I'm also getting Victor Gorgia on the chat. Ah, Victor Gorgia coral. Wow. Oh, plexorid and something next to it, maybe another plexorid and maybe a third thing. We have one viewer asking, why do so many of the creatures and species that we talk about sound like Harry Potter spells? <laughs> <laughs> because it sounds cooler mm -hmm, that way. It's cooler that way. Isn't that because uh, Harry Potter spells are kind of Latin mm. origin? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Tifana? No. What is that? Mm. Coral? I'm going to start identifying everything as Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> <laughs> That's the safest bet when you don't know what something is. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh wow. Wow. Nice sponge with a face. Sponge. Uh, I know. Persons first thing NS, I noticed. Sponge. Sponge with a face. Faraday. Uh, some sort of Euplectelid, I think. Yeah. Not I'm nervous. I feel wow. like I feel like Steve is gonna come in and tell me I'm wrong. Oh, good. That's the best, man. Steve will come and and help us out. Save the day. But kindly. <laughs> I'm like nervous IDing things now, though. You're doing great. Like I'm gonna get it wrong in front of Steve. Okay. That's good. Thank you. Looking at the percentage too, or no? Oh uh, no, that's fine. Are you catching up, or are you yep. you're caught up? Are you ready for a move? It depends on what's going to happen here in the next three <laughs> seconds. <laughs> That's true. Let's see. Let's see what else they want to look at. Yeah, yeah. Wait, there's a lot to see here. There's a lot to see. There's like um. That. Yep. Like that's what? a black coral. Um, it's okay. I can. Metal bottom. Oh, do I need a zoom? Uh, no. I think I can identify it. How about that little white? piece at the top of the screen middle. What is that little white piece? Yeah, let's look at that. White piece. Uh, white piece. Go up a little bit. Telestrator. There it is. Little, little stub there. Lasers are almost on it. Zoom in the egg. Nope. Dead sponge. Dead sponge. Okay. Move it on. <laughs> There's a pink and a purple Altharian. Yeah, I'm going to call that sponge just a Euplectelid for now. Oh, look at that. There's a bagel. <laughs> <laughs> That's the scientific name. Uh, There's uh, another black coral. Okay. I think that black coral we saw earlier was Bathypathies. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, oh, there's a Victor likely. Gorgia. Oh, yeah. Ooh. That is a Victor Gorgia. Look at that. We have someone from the chat, Victor Gordium Leviosa. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good one. These ones are so light in color. I feel like usually they look a lot darker. Steve just wow. uh, gave you some props on the Bathypathies uh, ID. Thanks, Steve. He, right. could, he could tell you needed to be pumped up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Need a little confidence boost here. <laughs> Jules, do we have an idea on this coral? 
Oh uh, yeah, this is Victor Gorcha. Awesome. Okay. No, I'm super Thank impressed you. with Think we're good on Juliana's uh, ability to ID stuff here. She's, right. She's real good. Thank you, Adam. A little sponge on the rock there. Oh, what Bottom is that? Middle. Bottom middle. Okay. Gotta circle it. I didn't, I don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Did I miss it? What is it out of are we frame or for? is it still uh, Out of frame. Okay. Oh, hello to our friends from <laughs> France. Thanks for tuning in with us. Bonjour. Or probably bonne nuit for yeah, you guys. That whip. Uh, can we, yeah, can we zoom on that whip, please? Blow your lasers. I'm gonna bet. Uh, Pen. No, black coral. Ooh, pretty. I like this one. Maybe lilipathies. Is that branching on the end? So th they had a little trouble IDing this on the last watch, so they collected a sample. Okay. Oh, okay. That's good. Maybe alternative pathies or heteropathies, according to Steve. Alternative pathies or heteropathies? Oops, he meant parantopathies, not alternative pathies. Okay. Steve could yeah, say that's anything. what I was I'm thinking. <laughs> I know, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> We'd believe. Uh, um, Costco pathies? Oh, yeah. I didn't know that one, but I guess if he <laughs> says it. <laughs> Adam is awesome at pathies. What's all this on the rock back there in the back? Zoom in, Dave. Uh, worms? Oh. Hello. Hmm. I'm not sure. Hydroids? Hydroids. Yeah. That's my best guess. Say. Thank you. There's a little baby. Something. Oh, a tiny little sponge. baby. Ooh. Wow. Looks like we have another one of those. Black corals. Can we yeah. can we zoom on that coral the on whip? the no, not the oh, whip. This one. No, that's yep. a Victor Gorge, I think. Yeah, that one. Sorry, I forgot that I can do that. There's something interesting under the uh, metallic gorge too. Oh, and something floating and purple. Can we look at the floaty purple thing first? Can you circle it? Oh, yeah. there it is. Coral's not oh. going anywhere. This thing, though, is this a jelly? So excited. Did it just land on the rock? Kind of looks like it. And there's something below this coral. Jelly. Jelly. Oh, the first jelly I've seen. Jelly. Kind of jelly is this. <laughs> Maybe a tunicate. Is that at the base of the uh, ophiroid? Yeah, thing? I was curious Basically about that too. Look at that. That jelly is cool though. That's a really cool jelly. It's hard to see the light. Okay, I think we're good on the that zoom. Can we look at the thing under the metallogorgia possibly?
it's like not quite a crinoid or a pheroid. Looks like a little sunflower star. Sunflower star. But those are more subtitle. I'm gonna guess Paragorgia up uh, to the right mm. also. Uh, I think that's actually a sponge. Should I say it was a tunicate? This one up here? Yeah, I think maybe that's a sponge. Oh, but that? yeah, let's look at the so young Brisinga or something. Yeah, I, that could be. That's what I'd. Is Metallogorgia a black coral? No. Why is it black here? I don't know. Mm. I don't know the answer to that. Okay, I think we're good on that. Zoom. Yeah, we're good. Um, I think percent should. I don't know about that blobby thing. And then Paragorgia. Most likely. All right, we're ready to move? Yes. Cool. We get to move? Should it move? <laughs> there we five, five minutes. We'll give you another five minutes. Oh, what's that on the left? Oh. Big star. Yeah, let's let's look at that. Oh. <laughs> wow. No, no ship move now. I'm no. also not really Cancel sure what's that. going on with that, that coral. Oh, that is massive. Wow. That looks like a paragorgia with some Yeah, it looks like a really sad paragorgia. Hydroids or something, <laughs> zoanthids on the bottom. How do I write scientifically a sad paragorgia? <laughs> <laughs> uh, paragorgia with like 25% tissue loss uh, with zoanthids. That's amazing, Jules. <laughs> this still sounds pretty sad. <laughs> Um, can we, can we just look at this, uh, asteroid though? The what? The asteroid, the sea star? You know, it looks to me like a hymenaster of Terrasteridae family. <laughs> ah, Steve's, <laughs> Steve's feeding me lines wow. again. Wow. <laughs> well, look, cause there's a, like a Beauty. hole in the middle. What's that? I think that's how they feed. Don't they have that's a mouth on the bottom? Yeah, that's water oh. intake. Look at okay. that. It opens and closes. Yeah, that's wow. a water intake to move uh, their hydrovascular system. Their little tube feet up and down. Ah, oh, cool. Oh. The Madripore is the name of that. Really? Hold that sounds so cool. What did you say that one again? Madripore. Oh my gosh. Madripore? Sounds like a, like a mother ancient pore? mystic thing or something. <laughs> Hi, Minaster. To be fair, all of my knowledge of sea stars comes from the inner title, so it could be different for deep sea, but that looks looks pretty similar. Oh, this is a slime star. Ooh. <laughs> Sample hit? <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> We're going to leave this guy alone. OK. Yep. Yeah. Good. Thank That's you. That's really cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Mm. Uh, maybe a chrysogorgid up there. Chrysogorgia. Bersingid and Ophiroid. And another buffet. You think that's crazy gorgeous? It looks kind of fan like, yeah? Do you think? I can't tell if it's oh, if flat. Oh, that's. Yeah, it's a, a weird angle. I think it's crazy gorgeous. Um, I will do some more investigating. Alright, I think we're good on that. Yeah, we're good. Thank you.
There's another one of those whip corals. Yep. Another alternopathies slash parenthopathies question mark. Um, the last one might have been Chrysogorgia uh, flavescens. Flavescens. Um, Does seem to be the same one, whatever, whatever that is. Yeah, whatever it is. And where was my? I I feel like closest is parentopathies mm -hmm. of the corals in my ID guide. You gotta move going. No. <laughs> We're good. We're good oh. for a move. Oh, we gotta do a What's shift. Oh, hold Can on. we really quickly zoom in on this? <laughs> Which one? I'm this? still making a move. Uh, okay. Bridge yeah, now. This. That string of pearls. That string of pearls. What is the real name for that? Uh, five zero meters. Three one zero, please. Zoom in, Dave. Yes. A string of pearls. I will find you and I will identify you. The internet is useless right now. Oh, these are so cool. I think that's good on that. Thank you. Bubble tea sponge. Bubble tea sponge. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Oh. Uh, nice. Plexorid. Plexorid. Or Acanthagorgia. We're I getting into know. some higher density here. That's cool. No, probably Plexorid. It doesn't look quite bushy enough to be a Acanthagorgia. Zoom on that, Dave. Yeah, zoom, please. Uh, no. uh maybe neither. What are you? Interesting uh, polyp pattern. So bright too. Yeah, this doesn't feel like Paragorgia to me. No, I'm getting like black coral vibes. Mm. It's a beautiful color. But that's kind of like, that's bold of me to say. But just based on the polyps and Looks really healthy. branching pattern. Yeah, just taking your vitamins. You good on that? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Robert, your delta's frozen there. I'm just watching it. It's frozen? Yeah, it's it really hasn't moved bright. in quite a I while. I don't think that was Paracorgia. There. Yeah, on the right hand side. This? Yeah. Yeah, your depth is frozen too. Mom. It's too late to sample that, right? Nope. 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 Bridge nav. Can we sample, please? Hold position. <sighs> Got a little bit of a ship moving. <laughs> <laughs> Ten meters. Okay, Apologies. it's not all about ship moves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just a ship move. <laughs> Calm down. That's true. I did say yesterday that these weren't precious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, careful what you say. <laughs> Um, I haven't seen this before.
this going to slurp, Robert, or where are we going with it? Uh, I think we probably, are we snipping the slurping? I think a snip it's and a slurp. It's a snip and slurp, yep. It's going to take a bit. Yep. We're going to do the whole dance with the hose. There's oh. a cup coral up there. Cup coral and also chrysogorgid. Looks very spirally to me. Very. Yeah. Aridogorgia? Aridogorgia. Magnospiralis. Like yeah, I would say aridogorgia. Oh, mm, mm. I'll wait till I get a closer look. Can you go out with the. It looks a little bit like a uh, trisopathy. Oh, yeah. Tool. Cladopathy, yeah, tool 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 colors? Yeah. Yeah, color is less important than uh, branching pattern. Uh, yeah, a friend is still in there. Okay. Hey, friends. Oh, and uh, Carinoid joined him. Uh, this yeah, one. it's a party. This is looking oh, yeah. closer. Staropathies. Pump out. Yeah. That I one. think I might have an ID. Okay. Yeah, I think staropathies. Although you can see the skeleton through that one. Yeah. Maybe that doesn't matter. I don't know. I feel like this is the closest I've seen so far. But that doesn't, yeah. that's not definitive. Yeah. The color is definitely right. Bump out and catch it. Yeah. See how that works. Oh, this is such a misery here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, see how the the branching of plexards is like a little bit more brainy. Yeah, yeah, that's a good word for it. It's more regular. Um, there's more branching, mm -hmm. um, and then things are a little bit knobbier. Um, These are like a little thinner, straighter, less irregular branching. Um, not irregular, but like random. Maybe that's not even correct, but it's how it looks at least to me. And then the polyps are coming off like each side like this. I think with plexorids, it's like all around mm -hmm. the skeleton.
Oh, that's pretty cool. I haven't seen this before. used to be such a simple thing. <laughs> Can you slap a magnet on the front porch when you get the RV back? Okay. Yeah, try that. Try and pinch it. That's as that's a full yeah. full beans. <laughs> full beans? That's me. That's in there is it captured? Yeah. Steve says staropathies. Robert, you wouldn't do me a favor, you wouldn't uh, put one of the slurp uh, the jars, sample jars on camera. Let's see which camera Yeah. So all you gotta do, you go over here to cameras, uh -huh. and then select bucket. Okay. And then unselect the one above it. So these two cameras are on the same channel. Yeah. And these two cameras are on the same channel. So you only have one okay. of these at a time, right? So starboard This one or that one. You can have this one or that one. Okay. All right, we're on the flush. Hydraulics. Did uh, did they sample anything in the last? Anybody know what? Um yeah, well they've got uh, something in. We've got two, and they also have seven. Okay. So we'll go for one. Okay. Okay. Can we zoom in, Dave? Nice. Nice. Can't Thank even you. see where you took it. <laughs> Robert Waters Coral Pruning Service. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a master class in manipulator uh, delicacy. <laughs> yeah, bring the slurp up the 50%. Right. Half beans. Half beans, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can we zoom in there, Dave? Looks like we had a coral in the background there. Unless that's the sponge that we saw. Got a little bit of 
Unwanted wiggle in the arm. Yeah. So we got beans. I see yeah, it. Let's, Let's go. go. I see the beans. Let's go. Oh, oh. Woo. Got a oh, more we got a little more. Nice. That's in, in the jar. Good. Oh. 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 Let's oh. slurp off. Oh, yeah. Turn it back on. All right. Fire up the beans. It's too stuck. Yeah. yeah. I feel like we got most of that sample in the jar. Might as well just. Yeah, it's okay. Oh. 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 Awesome. Look at that. Nice. Did we see it land in the jar? Yeah, I'm just waiting for it to fall back down there again now. Okay. Did you stop it? Yeah. It was in the jar. Then when I put on the second slurp for that last bit, it was Stirred back up again. it up again, yeah. Uh, try bumping a rotary. Maybe we'll wait a second on this. Back the other way. Back. Hmm. There it is. There, there, we, go. Go. there oh. we go. Okay. It's just in there. It's just, you know, the spikes hang up in the screen. Yeah. 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 All right. So we done with this uh, hose? Yep. All right, open the box. <coughs> awesome. All right. Just go ahead and replace Two that three, perfectly out. back in its original position. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come out more. I don't know. This is, it's really hard to get in there. Let it good. flop around. Yep. Two or three coming in. All right. Maybe it eventually finds its home. It looks like we have another star of Pathies from a Nautilus dive at the MCC. Oh, nice. From uh, 2022? 2022. Remember that? Remember oh, that year? Oh, gosh, yeah. That was a good one. <laughs> All right. I'm going to have to swing around there again. There's a wrap up to coming in here. It is on Kay. tier 366, shelf two. And I probably put it away. That's pretty cool. Full circle. You know, for our audience um, online, like, why is it important for us to take samples? Um, a lot of the time, or some of the time, we can't ID things just by looking at them in situ. Right. Um, which just means, like, in, in their environment. Um, we have to look at them closer, so uh, we'll look at the sclerites and the polyps mm -hmm. of the corals. What's a sclerite? A uh, sclerite is a sort of a protein that is around the polyp and the coral can retract the polyp into the sclerite um, for protection, mm -hmm. mostly. Also, um, it gets us uh, genetic material as yeah, well. Yeah, right. genetic material is a big thing, um, especially with corals being so closely related, uh, the taxonomy is always being updated. Was that craft arm jerk also related to the wiggle, the unwanted wiggle? 
It looks like maybe another that. Victor Gorgia down there. Oh, yeah, no, oh, okay. The, Let's turn it off. We might have already looked at that one. Ah, okay. Or no. Did oh, we already look at that one? I don't know. We've been in this spot for I'm a forgetting while. now. It's a what? Let's keep moving. Oh, yeah. Keep, keep moving? Keep moving. Okay. Um, Robert, we're going to move? Yeah. It's also now for things like uh, studying morphology. Three zero um, meters, three one zero, please. Yeah, all that's sorts of anything that we can't do no, it's, just uh, by it's just looking uh, at it right. briefly on a dive. Yeah. Seems to be frozen. Um, oh, what's this? Right. Can we zoom on this really quickly? I'll refresh it. I don't know if that helps. It looks like a black coral. Yeah, that same uh, whip, or is it? This one's branching. I thought this that one's was branching. Two um, Definitely black coral. Yeah, I think that's er, more of what we've seen. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Thank you. Parentopathies. Still not updating. <coughs> Should we do introductions while we're on the subject of uh, collections? Sure thing. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. I'm Adam um, Sewell. I'm uh, a what professor we, uh, at University of Rhode Island. I'm the, one of the science leads for this cruise and uh, director of the Ocean Exploration Hi, Cooperative Megan. Institute uh, that, through NOAA, provides uh, funding for this expedition. I'm Jules. I work at the Museum of Comparative Zoology at Harvard. Uh, you may have just heard me talking about what we do with the corals when we, mm -hmm. after we collect them. Um, so a lot of the samples from Nautilus expeditions and many others come into the Museum of Comparative Zoology. Um, a different one. I'm responsible for identifying, no. uh, cataloging, and databasing these specimens, and we also have a lot of grants to digitize these specimens so that. Um, they can be available to really anyone in the world. Um, I recently graduated from BU. You um, yeah, I'm a yeah. biologist. Yeah. Maybe on go back cruise. to pilot less and see if that changes it. I'm on pilot awesome. this year. Let's go. Is it Paula? Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, of course. So, hi, everyone. Okay. I'm Paola, yeah. and I am um, this well. expedition's science intern. So, I graduated from University right. of Puerto Rico about a year ago. Okay. And <laughs> to my bachelor's degree, I've gotten a bit of experience doing internships over with NOAA, over the deep sea, and that's where I fell in love with this incredible ecosystems that we know uh, almost nothing about. So, that's the exciting the part. Left. And over the past okay. year, I've been working Cycles with it. coral restoration efforts. So I'm excited to be here. And today I will be doing the work as a data logger. So everything the scientists are able to uh, ID or even just explore, I'll be making sure that goes into record. Thank you. Um, well, hello everyone. Uh, my name is um, Annie Halleck. Uh, this is my first cruise. Uh, I am the science communication fellow here on Nautilus. So I'm really excited to be here. I'm. Um, originally from Pongo Pongo American Samoa, so it's it's been great. Um, this is definitely a learning experience um, for me. Uh, we have a great team. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, if you have any mic. questions, um, please send them in the chat. Hey Dave, um, you can sort of free yeah. zoom on me if you want, so I don't have to keep saying it. It's a use your artistic oh, abilities. Oh, is this? What? Paragorgia overtaken by zoanthids. Are the zoanthids the... Oh, the look yellow. at that, yeah. Oh, oh wow. Gosh. That's a lot of zoanthids. It looks like a plexorid from a distance because of all the zoanthids. That's crazy. What do you think that is down there? Uh, some sort of anemone. Wow, look at that. It still looks pretty healthy where it's sticking out. Yeah? It does, yeah. I wonder if they're like coexisting mm. well. Not sure. I guess there's enough food to go around. Can we zoom on the anemone in the background? 
oh behind boy. the. That's, uh, is that too much of an ask? Where is it? And there's also a glass sponge to the left. We don't have to zoom on it, but you know what? Just Forget noting. the anemone. I think it's blocked by the. You think so? Yeah. Okay. All right. We can reposition, but then no, no, no. It's, it's okay. Too small to oh, it looks like there's a some sort of worm at the base of the paragorgia too. Hagfish-like. Hmm. And there's another anemone below it. What in the world is that? Huh. I don't... Would a worm want to be an associate for a coral? Or does it just happen to be there? Yeah, a worm would want to hang out with a coral. Looks like an ophiroid completely wrapped around. This is a whole party going on. A whole little ecosystem right here. Yeah, mm -hmm. little okay. micro ecosystem. Right. Yep, Run. that's good. Thank you. Oh, that's a mollusk. Apla Aplacophorin? Yeah. Oh, Makes a coral crest. Peak just sticking out there. Aplacophorin. So sonar, I'm going to pull up a bit. Alright. And we're just finishing a ship move, so I'll let you run ahead. We would love to hear from the front row on their introductions. Hello, uh, Samantha Wishnack, navigator on H12. Uh, normally, the operations Ooh, was that coordinator. Oh, Sorry, for Ocean Exploration Trust. This one? That's I think that's Ooh. right behind the. Uh, yeah, let's zoom on it. Yep, bathypathies. Uh, you know, now that we've zoom seen those paragorgids covered in zoanthids, I'm not sure about that thing in front. Oh yeah, uh, what did wow. you call that one again? Oh, Plexoria wow. bathypathies, and that is Anthemastis, which is a mushroom coral. When the polyps are attracted, it looks just like a mushroom. Oh, sorry, Samantha, I interrupted you. No, this is. Do you want to continue? Too. Okay, good. Yep. Were we just doing basic introductions? Yep. Yeah. Great. Uh, normally, operations coordinator for Ocean Exploration Trust, which is a nonprofit that owns and operates Nautilus. I am from the Monterey, California area. Robert. Uh, Robert Waters, I'm the Herc pilot. I'm OET's uh, <coughs> uh, facilities manager and ROV engineer. I'm not out here, and I live in Los Angeles. Um, TJ, uh, Thomas Scanlon <coughs> from the southwest of Ireland, Dingle, County Kerry. Uh, out here is Atlanta pilot. Don't see that. Dave. Dave Robertson. <laughs> <laughs> Just lead, call me Dave. Lead video Dave. engineer. Zooming in on stuff. <laughs> and, yes, uh, please. Being patient <laughs> with Jules. Originally from Seattle. Uh, live in Anchorage, Alaska. Also live on the coast of Oregon. And I work on Nautilus. And it's a great multitasker, being able Fairly. to zoom great and talk at the Fairly same time. Home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a little more information on the Uh They're actually a mollusk, not a worm. Hmm. And oh, mollusk. It could be Cato Faviata. Thank right. you, everyone, for tuning uh, in online. Um, oh, if you have any questions for our team, please send them in the chat. We'll get to your questions as soon as we can. If you have any uh, pictures, awesome or cool videos, don't forget, hashtag Nautilus Live. Follow us on all of our social media platforms. Thanks for exploring with us. There's an extra long string of pearls. Oh. Oh, I meant to look into that. Annie, yeah, do you right. want to introduce yourself? Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> oh, you oh, did? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm Annie. We zoomed in. <laughs> Hi, Annie. <laughs> I think we went straight into a zoom from Annie's introduction. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. wow. Annie, where are you from? I'm from Pago Pago, American Samoa, a small island in the South Pacific. 
the best one I've seen yet. And one of these fellows who I, I don't know the Latin yet. Okay, cool. Thank you. This reminds me of those little beads that you'd make necklaces out of. Right. Like a kid that snapped together. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Those are fun. Steve, do you have the Latin name for what we've been calling the String of Pearls? Victor Sponge. Gorgia. Yeah, Victor Gorgia. Zoom, dude. Happy, happy Victor Gorgia. Well, we have a viewer here saying the String of Pearl sponges are Desmo sponges. Desmo sponges. Or kebab sponge. Okay. Kebab sponge. Kebab <laughs> sponge. I like that. Thank you to whoever said that. Right. Well, what are we looking at? This is a Victor Gorgia with a Ophiroid associate. Okay. Okay, moving on. Paula, for the um, the kebab sponge, you can meters, just put Desmo Spongier. Awesome. I'm going to put it on the background. That sounds like a name when you don't know the name of the sponge. <laughs> so you're like Desmo Spongier, the Latin name. Add EIA. <laughs> <laughs> yes, just add the. Thanks, Jules. Yep. Leviosa. <laughs> Leviosa. <laughs> Gorgiosa. Oh. Well, we have a question gorgeous. for the team. How would someone who loves your job and is inspired by your lives work and strive to be a part of the crew? Like, what professions and knowledge goes into all of this? That's a great question. That is an awesome question. Yeah, that is. Honestly, Everyone aboard comes from such a different background, um, and there there's a lot of different roles that people play on, on the ship. Um, we have people like Annie, science communicators. Um, I come from a biology background. Adam does rocks. Geology, we call it, but you know, rocks. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Adam does rocks as his Pilot. Uh, Adam does rocks. But there's engineers, mechanical, right. electrical. There's software engineers. There's uh, kind of IT network kind of connectivity folks. There's people who cook. There's people who drive the boat. There's, you know, almost any skill set can be applied to the ocean exploration right. enterprise. Um, but the best way to get out here is to just kind of try and get involved, you know? Uh, there, there's great internship programs here on Nautilus, and uh, there's students who are out here. So um, I think if you if you have a real passion for it, you can find your way onto to one of this, this or many other vessels that are out there exploring the oceans. You've even had artists come out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Artist mm -hmm. at Sea program. Ooh. Artist at sea? Yeah. yeah. Wow. We still do sometimes have artists come out during through the uh, Science Communication Fellowship Program. We've had writers. But not poets. No poets. <laughs> <laughs> poets are, are exactly uh, We've actually had an artist out 
uh, who also did poetry. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of the science communication fellows is pretty talented. That's true. Right. That's true. Yeah, he's coming out later this season. Yeah. Good point. He had a poem about his wife knitting him some socks that was really awesome. Oh. oh. Who's that? Uh, Christopher Klaus. He's Ooh. coming out. He's He sailed with us last year or the year before. Mm -hmm. And so he's coming out as a lead science communication fellow in a couple months. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess the answer is whatever you're interested in, uh, get involved, look for opportunities, uh, talk to people, right. ask questions, show that you're interested. Right. Um, if you want um, more information for everyone on um, tuning in on nautiluslive.org. What do we have here? It's a holothurian. Yeah, holothurian. Yep. Well, this is for uh, Robert Waters. Uh, we have viewers sending you love. So <laughs> 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 he's been with Ballard for a long, long time. I miss him when he's not on a cruise. Mm -hmm. hmm. Thanks for tuning uh. in. <laughs> <laughs> You're an admirer. Yeah, an admirer, yeah. That was a classic Robert Waters response, too. <laughs> I don't oh, want to get, I don't get myself in trouble. If <laughs> <laughs> What's that? What's that shiny What's that? thing? Ooh. Is that a fish? It's like maybe a... Dead fish. Can you zoom in, Dave? These are the moments that scientists are actually just a bunch of crows. Shiny. <laughs> uh, shiny. That's oh, shiny. Shiny. Is, uh, is this a shiny rock? A shiny rock. Uh -oh. Is it a rock? <gasps> Ooh. Oh, Maybe. shiny rock. What does it mean? Uh, That's what interesting. What a Mr. Geologist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's just the way the light's hitting this uh, this surface. We don't need to poke it. For science? No, I don't. I ah, okay. Can we give it a little science poke? Uh, I mean, <laughs> sure. But there's nothing. Uh, we won't. We won't get anything out of it. Like it's nothing's gonna come off. I don't think. Uh -oh. Just joy. You think it's just the light? I think so, <laughs> but give it a give it a poke. Shoot. We have time for yeah. pokeage. Yeah. Ship move is just ending. <laughs> <laughs> These are the important questions. Do we have time to poke it? <laughs> Always. <laughs> I was on a cruise where it was a volcano where there's a lot of pumice on the seafloor and rock, and you couldn't tell them apart. So you just drive by and whack it with a manipulator. If it crumbled, <laughs> it was pumice. It sounds a lot like hummus. It, no, it's not like hummus. It's not. Much less delicious. Oh. <laughs> Well, some of this kind of looks like hummus, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even near lunch yet. Did you not eat breakfast? Someone's protein <laughs> deficient. <laughs> no, I've been drinking my my protein powder. Oh. Oh. Yep. Actually, it didn't work out yesterday, though, so you can choose which uh, oh. interaction I do. What is this? It's just shiny rock, man. I, I don't know. You keep Amen. saying that, but it feels like more than shiny rock. It's it feels special. What, how do you get shiny rock in the land of not ugly, shiny rock? Not not shiny shiny rock. <laughs> that is... It's a silver vein. <laughs> it's, not, it's just the light. <laughs> turn, on the, turn on the green lights or the red lights. We're just not believing. 
<laughs> Robert, no. take out that Irish flag every day. We while think that we know better than the <laughs> geologists here. Huh. Doesn't look as impressive now. Now that we beat the hell out of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we determined animal, mineral, or vegetable. Though. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that is true. We did do that. Okay. A great skill set to have to get out here is not to be distracted by shiny things. <laughs> 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 that is a skill that I do not possess. No. <laughs> Also believing the geologist when he says yeah. that it's just a rock. <laughs> I know you guys forced me into saying it's just a rock. No, I swear it's special. This one's different. Trust but verify. <laughs> okay. I'll let you guys get a little ahead before I put in another move. All right. Yeah, if we want to get to waypoint five by uh, our scheduled time, we've got to do a little more zippiness here. Okay, I think that was kind of aimed your way. <laughs> <laughs> do we have a blindfold back here? <laughs> I'll keep my mouth shut. It's just, it's hard for me not to say every single thought that enters my mind. Well, that makes you perfect for, uh, you know, telepresence. Because people at home want to know all your thoughts. I'm very telegenic. <laughs> What's the word of the day? Oh. I oh, wow. I haven't looked yet. Uh, yeah. yeah, me neither. Oh. Was that Bathy Pathies? Uh, looks it? like metallic archive. Unless, unless there was another. I like the, the word we had the other day that came off of Best Foods mayonnaise jar, though. It was yeah. a cartouche. What? Cartouche. Yeah. Cartouche. What does that mean? <coughs> Today's word of the day is ga gamut. Gam gamut? No. Gamut. 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 Oh, like running the gamut. gamut. As in the full gamut. Yeah. I don't think I've ever heard that word in isolation. You know? mm -hmm. No. Oh, there's another uh, slime star. Uh, slime and, star. Uh, oh yeah, um, and um, an umbalula. Um, 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 yeah. um, a gamut is a range or series of related things. When we say that something runs the gamut, we are saying that it encompasses an entire range of related things. I will be saying uh, runs the gamut as much as I think trying to use it today. in a different way would be more fun. Like you think? Am I saying it correctly? Gamut, yeah. I think so. Um, Just don't say it too many times, so then it becomes meaningless. <laughs> <laughs> like a, to play it. at lunch, we can see a food gamut. Is no. that shrimp? It just doesn't oh. sound right. It doesn't sound right. I've never heard it used outside of run the gamut. These rocks are really running the gamut. No. no. Oh, the whole gamut. <laughs> the whole gamut. Ran the gamut. Ran the gamut. I'm just repeating what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's this? Yeah, that one looks a little different. Yeah, that does. Uh, I feel like black coral. Out of all the gamut we've seen. Of corals we've seen. <laughs> uh, kind of top right. Think Whoa. Cuskiel. Nice. So the cartouche on the best foods menus thing is the ribbon with the bow. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Cartouche. Where it says it's real mayonnaise. That's what their is a trademark. Cartouche? And they call it a cartouche. What's a which cartouche? Which is usually cartouche is uh, like you associate oh. with uh, Egyptian yeah. Yeah. hieroglyphics. Right. Yeah. But it, I guess it has to do with uh, like an emblem. You know, uh, 
So it, it's it, circling, uh, you know. Does it have to have a ribbon involved? No. Or no, just uh, something that goes around? Yeah. <clears throat> I think the black coral we saw, it could be alternopathies. Could have been umbellopathies. Oh, yeah. I feel like umbellopathies. That's what I'm going with. It definitely had three. Yeah, I think it had three. It looked a little bit like this. Oh, yeah. <coughs> I'd like to point out that this uh, Cuskiel excursion was not directed by me. Yeah, okay, that's good. <laughs> Those are freestyling moves of Dave Robertson. <laughs> Thank you, Dave. Freestyling zooms. That does sound like <laughs> Dave's jazz album. Yeah. The, the freestyling moves of Dave Roberts. <laughs> freestyling you zooms. Zoom in freestyling more, zooms. <laughs> Use your uh, Not to be mistaken with the snip and slurps. <laughs> you guys are really doubling down on this Cuskiel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we keep forgetting lots of this Cuskiel. We got to get moving. Yeah. <laughs> we got stuff to see. <laughs> Okay, are we ready for a move? Uh, yeah, let's move. Yeah. Yeah. I want to get to the top of this let's thing. Zoom. Bridge now. That would be really cool. Three zero meters, three one zero, please. What's the winds like, Sam? Uh, been pretty consistent at 20. Coming from the northeast. Look, Ooh. Look. Ooh. Is this Norella? Uh, that sounds like a look. I don't know, but it kind of. Oh, you can zoom, Dave. Sorry. <laughs> zoom. Skeleton looks a little bit black, though. Eh. Oh. Or it could be Isa today. Isa today. Yep, that's a bamboo. Okay, I just needed to see the bands. Thank you. No. Here you are. Look how quick that was. Today, clade I four. Oh. Oh my goodness, the clades. I forgot about the clades. Yeah, I don't get the clades. I've tried to understand. There's no like comprehensive guide to the clades. What's the holdup? Steve, is it nodal or internodal? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez Louise. <laughs> Yeah, that's not so bad. Nine thirteen. Okay. okay. Bathy pathies. Bathy pathies for sure. TJ, the, the Clades no. is an Irish band, isn't it? Sorry. The Clades. That's an Irish There's band, a isn't it? Tell it over oh, there. I have. I mean, oh, <laughs> she was she was talking about the Clades, which is part of the. We the zoom coral. there, Dave. Oh, okay. So. Just sounded like an Irish band to me. <laughs> Could very well be. We had a lot of discussion of bands. Actually, I don't know if that's Metallogorgia. I think that's Cal or uh, Chrysogorgia. Chrysogorgia. No, it's Metallogorgia. Metallogorgia and uh, and some brittle stars. Yep. Um, oh, that's a good angle. And a black coral behind it. I can hold it. What's that black coral? Probably another parentopathies. Oh no, sorry, that's bathopathies. I was just seeing it from an angle. Pretty. Wow. That's a cool shot. That's really cool. I like how the corals are kind of layered. Can we roll focus to the background? Yeah, look at that. Very cinematic. You roll focus to the foreground. Yeah. Just like that. 
Can we shoot this in black and white? <laughs> <laughs> it will look really in post. <laughs> it's another episode of Free Star and Zeus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're, we're good. Adam, I always wanted to direct Sewell. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> cut, cut, cut. All right, people. Listen, we got to have more emotion. <laughs> oh, no. If you want to be a director, you have to learn this phrase. Okay, one more time. <laughs> and Oh, my God, we have a clayed paper. Sorry. <laughs> Stick to the script, Juliana. <laughs> <laughs> Need a lot of coaching. Ooh, Victor Gorge. Uh, like Who also sounds like there. one of the Actors literary in greats <laughs> of, yeah. of the, in, the, in the Spanish uh, you know, oeuvre, the gamut of uh, authors. Yeah. <laughs> gamut. Oh, what's that whip on the lock ad? Gamut. Top left whip. Top left whip. Red whip. Haven't seen that before. Oh, yeah, look at that. Unless it's the stock Ooh. or something. Could it be stickopathies? I've been saying stickopathies, and it's always wrong. Hey, zoom in, Dave. I love stickopathies. Nope. Oh, nope. It was a crinoid, it looks like. That no longer. Head. It was. Can they, they can't regenerate, right? Uh, er yeah, no. tuna I feel like it's missing the important Let part. Zoom Let me in look down that here. Up. Right there. That tuna kit. Yep. No See strange purple wow. orbs here. Sea bubble. Mm -hmm. Ooh. What is that? Tuna kit? Crinoids possess high potential of regeneration. Really? But from their stock or from their, <coughs> I'm assuming just from their body, right? Uh, it says, um, they're able to regenerate most of their organs. It says in particular, arm regeneration has right. been studied. That makes sense. Using the feather star. Do you guys know what a, a yellow fin uses to carry its tools around? No, oh, no. What does it use? A tuna kit. Oh, oh <laughs> my gosh. A tuna kit. <laughs> That's a good one. That was pretty good. Is that Metallogorgia? And Anthemastis. And maybe a sponge. Or a tuna kit. Or a sponge. Oh, uh, and there's the star. Oh, yeah, staropathies. Staropathies. And also the parentopathies. And also a bamboo coral and a Victor Gorgid. Nice. Rapid fire. Seeing more uh, density as we go up this slope. Oh, and there's a Umbalula. Umbalula. Awesome. If anyone watching wants to look at anything closer in particular, um, Keep let it us to know. Yourself. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we are out in front of it, so. Okay. We have been getting this question a lot. Like, are some corals poisonous? You know, like how some plants are. Uh. You know, they have I some defense yeah. mechanisms here. Right, three zero. Oh, yeah, some snap. have stinging cells. <laughs> right. Yeah. It it uh, depends on uh, zero, please. what what is consuming it. Also. Mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't take a bite of one if I were you. <laughs> wouldn't. Yeah. But um, if you happen to, let us know what happens. how it goes. Oh, uh, or don't. <laughs> Species oh, yeah, of zoanthid, mm -hmm. zoanthids can contain a highly toxic and potentially lethal chemical compound known as palytoxin. Ooh. Oh. Um, please do not eat your corals. Please don't do that. Please don't. What's They're highly thing? toxic. 
Ooh, what's the pink thing? Can we maybe get a zoom on that little guy? I feel like urchin. Yeah, urchin? It's an urchin. Hey, Dave. Oh, 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 it's not an, oh, uh, it's an, an it's anemone. An anemone. Oh. <laughs> oh, <how cute. laughs> I like that noise. <laughs> <laughs> not telegenic. <laughs> no, not very telegenic. Come on, come on out. Not happening. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Thank you. Uh, it's also recommended that you don't touch coral at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they're very sensible. They're, yeah. Oh, there's the three pronged. That's uh, some Bella Pathies. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I have a sea joke, but I need to translate it. Okay. So Say it in Spanish first and then translate it. <laughs> Okay, For our Spanish so speaking in listeners. Spanish it would be um, que un pez usa cuando tiene calor. So what would a fish use when it's feeling hot underwater? When it's feeling hot, what would it use? Uh, what? Sea fan? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> You're good at it. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we have some more bathypathies and parentopathies, question mark, and uh, birth engine. What are you pointing at? Something just at off a the rock. screen. Oh, uh, can we zoom in on that white thing? Oh, yeah. oh and there's something. Uh, that's an ophiroid. Four percent in. Oh. I zoomed and in. And a whip. I'm guessing dead sponge. No. Hmm. Yes, no. What is this? That's a new shape. Is that a... Oh, I don't know what that is. Oh. Dead sponge? It looks like... like sediment. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I... Doesn't that just look like a bunch of sand? It looks like a bunch of sand maybe on something. On a yeah. sponge. On an old sponge or something. Okay. All right, something dead. Okay. Okay, that's good. Can we look at the whip to the right? Uh, that way. You both are getting really good using the... the <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, listen. <laughs> that's my screen, okay? <laughs> okay, uh, zoom in. Um, that looks like a black coral, almost. Interesting coloring, though. Could it be clade B1? Clade B1? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's a uh, bamboo. Yeah, it definitely looks like a black coral. Yeah, it looks like another parentopathies, but in a different color. Wait, did you say definitely bamboo? No, what did you say? black. Definitely black coral. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Agreed. Um, that's good, thank you. Yeah, it looks good. Wow, cool. look at that top one, so corkscrewy. Yeah, that's stickopathies. Oh, I love it. And there's another up there. Metallic Gorgia. Looks kind of like 
chrysopathies or heteropathies. Zoom in, Dave. Lots of black corals up here. If I wasn't seeing so many black corals, I'd say like primnoid. Can we look at the coral to the left, please? Yeah, can I get a zoom? So definitely a black coral. Oh, it looks like a bathypathies that was chopped off. Yeah. Uh, er, uh. All right, I think we're good. <laughs> we're good, thanks. Just completed a ship move, but I'll let you get ahead. We do have a question. What deep sea critter would you be if you had to pick? <laughs> Ooh. Oh no. Hmm. Hmm. a pretty dense cluster. Yeah, like of maybe a room. tripod fish. Oh, like they just kind of hang out. All right. Oh, a tripod fish. Wow, we had a Victor Gorgia. Is that a shrimp? Metallic Gorgia. Uh, can we zoom on the yellow, please? Which one? This one? Yeah. There's one of everything here. But really a bowl. I gotta, uh, we gotta do it on the fly here. Okay, like yeah. Too many things to run into. Uh, plex, oh, can you zoom uh, in are those the wimpids again? Oh my gosh, you're, I think. No, 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 no. Not. I think this is a plexorid. Okay. Yeah, with okay, an yeah. anemone Plexorid with an anemone and a brittle okay. star. Um, okay, and then there's a yellow thing just behind it that I would love to look at. Is that anything? Yes, that's something. I think a black coral. Where are we looking? Uh, that thing. Oh. oh. That looks or like a dead coral covered yeah. in hydroids. Yeah, that's what that looks like. Okay, that's yeah. good. And then... Final request, if we zoom out, um, that was excessive circling. Sorry, one more circle there? Okay. That looks like the when we sampled star earlier. Staropathies? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to say that's staropathies. Is that good? Yep. All that's right. good. Thanks. And we can keep moving. So we haven't seen any trash down here. This is very clean. <coughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't oh, seen anything. Oh, what's Ooh. that on the left? It's the... Uh, umbella pathies, probably. Ah. I love those. Oh, ones. that's Samantha. You sound disappointed by that. Yeah. What, what was that? <laughs> well, we've already seen it. I guess I thought it was something was that new to us. Attempt for umbellopathies. Just umbellopathies. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it's beautiful. This is a very diverse little area. Yeah. It right. Is. Uh, I think maybe a plexorid to its left too. Oh, I don't think this is on telepathies, actually. Telepathies? Telepathies? Is that a scale worm or something on the back, right? On the rocks? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Samantha, I have that. great news. I think this is telepathies. Oh! Or telepathies, however you want to pronounce it. Perfect. New to us. Oh, is it an iridescent scale worm? Ooh! <laughs> 